A stab jab down to the body. Foden has no answer for it. And the reason why Inoue can get there quick with that jab is his Foden has a wide stance. His base is so wide, it's really hard to get in and out. Oh, right hand hits him! Oh, a huge right hand from the monster! And then he chases him down! Foden is laid out, struggling to get to his feet. Foden hurt badly. The monster on the attack! Trying to claim two more belts as Foden tried to grab the ropes. Backed up into the corner. Here comes in a way that destructive, decisive power does it again. The monster, a four division world champion, stamping in Tokyo. He was having his way. Level changing jab right there. Brought the eyes down to Fulton. Right hand right over the top and here's the finish. One of the best finishers in boxing, if not the best. Just an onslaught of violent, vicious punches by Inouye in your in way. A master boxer, a versatile guy, and he made him look ordinary. I'd never seen Fulton so tentative, and it was by a smaller guy. And it was right away in the first round, Timmy, as soon as he realized the speed, the power, the prowess, the technical ability, especially with the jab. Forget the power punches, the jab. The smaller man won the jab battle, and the smaller man won the actual battle. When you win the jab battle test, everything else follows, as you can see here. He has now won 14 of his last 15 fights by knockout. The exception is the first fight, that fight of the year against Nonito Donaire when he fought through a broken orbital bone and broken nose and still won the fight. That's why I still think that was his greatest fight. He found something in himself. No one can know that they have or not. This was extraordinary. And now a four division world champion and the new WBC and WBO Super Bantamweight champion of the world, Naoya Ramonster. Tim, you used the word earlier. Torque. His ability to have viper striking speed and nearly flawless punching technique to deliver the two handed finishing power. It showed up again, and there was nothing Stephen Fulton could do about it.